What's up guys, it's Kerry from KJB back again with another episode of the Wigan Athletic Career Mode and I do hope that I find you very well indeed. As you can see, we are top of the league after 15 games. We've only lost 2, we've won 11, we've drew 2. Our goal difference is superior to Man United's. This might be our season. We've done quite a lot since I've last seen you, so the last two games were the loss against PSG and a draw against Man City. We beat Villa 2-1, we've beat Club Bruges 4-0, Brighton 2-0, we've just been on a winning streak. 4-1 against Fulham, 2-0 again against Bruges, 1-0 West Brom, 4-1 Sheffield United, 4-1 against Dynamo Moscow and I'm going to show you the goal that we scored in that game because it was absolutely incredible. So I wasn't recording at the time, but you can see Dynamo Moscow put up a really good performance in the first half. They were 1-0 up. We've had a corner, it's come to nothing. And we just worked the ball back. And it's just one of them where we're playing without too much pressure. Curtis Jones gets it out on the right, defender gets a header. Bicycle kick from the edge of the box and in. Stanley Hull, who's a 75 rated youth player we've had at the club for a little while now. I've been using him in the Champions League and he is incredible. He's about six foot three. He's got five star skills. Can play both wings quite well. He's been brilliant so far this season, so don't be surprised if you see him round a little bit more. Again, in terms of our recent results, then we've beat Burnley 4 0, we've just beat Palace 3 1. Today, I was thinking about bringing you the last Champions League game. We've got PSG. I was trying to think, who's the bigger team out of Leicester and Arsenal? It's definitely Leicester. So I'm going to bring you the Leicester game and the PSG game. Next episode, it will be Everton and Chelsea before the January transfer window. So let me know in the comments anyone you think we should be looking at signing. In the meantime, this is how we're lining up. Henderson in goal, Lamptey, Ampadu, De Sassi and Pierce at the back. Powell's at CDM, Pellegrini and Jones as the centre mids, Teguia, Lang, Dembele up top. Leicester, they've got an alright team, they've still got Amati, Perez and Thomas starting. I think that's Callum Wright in the centre mid position as well, so a few players who are actually there still. Cool on them boys. I'm really debating next FIFA when it comes out. Do we start with Leicester? Or there's a couple of other teams I've had an idea about. We could do Sheffield United... Comments have let me know about Birmingham City, which I'd be interested in doing. Anyone with any suggestions for career mode teams to try at the start of next season, let me know and we will definitely have a look. Nice Ampadu, good tackle. Pellegrini straight away has played into Guia, who's got the beating of Amati. And he's struggled a bit this season. He's gone with his right and he smashed it in. As soon as you mention struggles, it's gone. Cedric Teguia, we're going to wander it up. We love to see it. It's only his first goal in the Premier League as well. And to be honest, he's been very hit or miss starting because Zerao's been playing quite a lot. And even when he has played, he's not really performed. So it's good to see him off to a decent start. Lamperty, ball in, Callum Lang. It's a good save by Mere, but Callum Lang's there for a rebound. And we're 2-0 up already. We are just on fire at the minute with this Wigan team. That's Pellegrini's there. Jones has got absolutely acres. He's hitting it first time. It's just whispered wide of the post. Could have very easily been 3-0. We had so much time to take on that ball as well. But we're just carving Leicester apart at the back. I'll tell you what it is. It's because Leicester are playing with a high pressing sort of system. It just means there's loads of gaps and we are probably the best counter-attacking team in the Premier League. That's not a foul. That's a very, very soft one and it's ultimate difficulty so you know this is at least troubling the keeper. Nope. I I if he shot that was. Well done De Sassi. Good tackle. And now we're breaking. Powell, ball out to Dembele and just look how high that defensive line is from Leicester. Dembele's there. Roulette, he's round the keeper. Nope. He's hit the post. 
Oh, that would have been absolutely filthy. Pow. Dembele's found a little bit of space. He's gone for the finesse. Easy save by Mere, and it's half time 2 0. Look at that. We're absolutely dominating. 59% possession, all the shots. Very good performance. Nicely worked. Pellegrini's played it over to Taguia. Callum Lang's got space in the middle. On the volley. What a volley. He's connected with that so sweetly and he's put us 3-0 up straight away in the second half. And he's celebrating in front of the Wigan fans. It just so nicely worked. It's a beautifully weighted ball in and Callum Lang on the volley's hit it so nicely. Nicely tackled by Pellegrini. And Taguia is off again. I don't know what's with this really high line that Leicester are playing, but Taguia's got it. Ball over to Callum Lang. He's volleyed, it's saved that time. And he's gone down in the box without a penalty. We could have easily scored a tapping, but we're freeing a lot. We've got to go for some nicer goals now. Callum Lang. Oh, Dembele was there. That would have been an easy one. Dembele's just taking it from all the way from the other side. Low shot at Mere's saved quite well. I love this team, man. It's so good. And a lot of the players we've got were signed quite early on. Callum Lang was at the club anyway. Dembele was the first signing we made. Curtis Jones coming in that second championship season we had. They've travelled the journey with us this team. It's great. And they've missed. They've missed. First shot on target for Leicester. They should really be finishing that on ultimate, but he's dragged it wide. Right, Esposito and Alvarez are both going to come on for the last 20 minutes of this game. Esposito's played in Jones. We've gone for a chip because we're audacious like that. We don't need to go for chips. We could have just buried it. Despacito. Oh, Esposito's done so well. Oh, we tried to round him again. Just finish it. The, the take from Esposito deserved better. Great tackle by De Sassi. And he still got there first. Jones, he has Dembele. Dembele's got acres of space. Dembele can't finesse it round him. It's a good save in the end by Mere. Play it. Alvarez's head. Oh yeah. That'll do us for this game against Leicester. It's, it's a very, very easy 3-0 win. And it's one of them where on another day, if I was trying harder, that could have been 6 or 7. We just decided to turn it off and go for a bit more of a skillful goal set after but a very good victory on to PSG as you can see we are second in the group and a victory against PSG today does mean that we go top of a group on goal difference I feel like we could do it but you saw in the first game we played against PSG last episode that they are no pushovers we're just gonna go play the best that we can with this team and a good performance is more than it more than enough. We're already through. We're already out of the groups. Let's just try and put a good account for ourselves. We're going as close to full strength as we can. Azeral's coming on the wing. Demiral's come back in defence. What makes me laugh about this PSG team is they've got a Leicester City back back two. Maguire and Soyuncu, both ex Leicester on this career mode. You just love to see, you just know we're a big club when PSG are signing our players. Suarez, not Louis, is up top. They've got Seb Haller playing left wing for some reason, but he's going to be tough. We just want to put on a good show for ourselves, show that we can challenge the big boys in the Champions League. And you never know, it might be a fantastic season in the Champions League, as well as the Premier League. We're pushing on all fronts. Before FIFA 22 comes out, we need to have won something with this Wigan team. They deserve it. We're at home as well. That first leg was actually away at PSG. So being at home hopefully does a li does us a little bit of a favour. I have noticed Neymar isn't playing today. I know he was the one who caused us a lot of problems last time out. This is good play by PSG. We've got it out. Good save by Hendo. I've just mentioned before... I've noticed Neymar isn't playing, so hopefully it's a bit of an easier ride dribbling-wise down that left wing, but they've shown they're still dangerous. Jones out, well done. 
Oh, Curtis Jones is down. Nice. Zero patiently playing. Robinson, he's got a ball. He can't do a lot with that, to be fair. They defended well. We've been had by Anthony. No, not Mbappe. Oh, he squeezed it in. How has he managed to find the space in there? It's a, it's a great finish to find the space. Look at that straight down that little gap between the post and the keeper. This will be a better angle. Oh, he's megs him. He's megs him. We look like idiots. Nicely done by Lamperty. Jones tried to play the ball over early to Lang, but they're just there. PSG are just very well organised, it seems. Nicely worked. Can McKenney get there? No. Again, there's just a PSG body there, but we're looking better. Nicely done for Powell to Lang. Turns. Shot from the edge of the box. It's not too far away. He just found that little bit of room against Maguire. Nicely tackled by Desassi, it's brilliant. Can we work something just before half time? Curtis Jones. Late to Lang. To McKenney, that is a great ball. McKenney, near post, he's managed to sneak it past Navas, and it's 1 0 on the stroke of half time. That is brilliant. So just when Jones picks it up, it's the little back heel there by Lang that's just brilliant. And he smashes it with his left foot. I think Navas expects him to take it on his right. But just left foot. Straight as an arrow into that corner. One all at half time. Despite his involvement in the goal. I'm going to have to take Curtis Jones off. He's not recovered fully from that injury. Torres is coming in at centre mid for him. And hopefully he can have just as much influence in his second half. Nicely done. They can dribble all they want. But eventually we'll catch him out. Bappe's worked hard to get the ball back. Demiral's put in one tackle. Lamperty was there, but Henderson, what a save. He saved us on that occasion, big time. And we're looking to catch him out now. Torres, ball through. Dembele is there. Can Dembele do something? Right-footed, just hits it straight at Navas. Nicely tackled by Lamperty to Callum Lang. Play in Weston McKenney's there again on his left foot. He's just whispered wide of the post again. That was a fantastic run. Navas didn't commit, but he just could not find a target. Unlucky. Good tackle, Demiral. Just cut it out. Callum Lang. Play it to Zerral on the edge. Finesses the curl on that shot then. I thought it was just about to sneak in. So yeah, we're just going to look to freshen it up. Powell's going to come off. Alvarez is going to come on. They've got Neymar as well, so I think some fresh legs in the CDM spot will just do us a bit of help. Nicely cut out again by Demiral. And we're countering. Zerral's got the ball going forward. I need Callum Lang to make a good run. He's found a bit of space, but Maguire's always going to win that header. How, how has he managed to turn that quickly? I feel like we've lost that one in the last minute. Because of Mbappe is dribbling. He doesn't even need to do skill moves. He's just got really close control on the ball. And he's done us on that. This PSG team definitely are the best team we've faced in this career mode. 100%. Man U have been tough. But this PSG team are just a different gravy altogether. We've lost 2-1. But all in all, I think we've done ourselves proud in the Champions Leagues. Before I get onto it, have a guess. Who do you think we're going to be playing in the round of 16? I'll run through all the teams who have qualified and have a guess in the comments who we're going to be playing. I'll give you a thumbs up if you get it right. Alright, so the group stage hasn't been drawn yet before the next game. So you'll find out next episode who we're playing. But challenge still applies. Let us know in the comments who you think we'll be playing. We'll be playing one of the teams that top the group, which isn't PSG. So, Real Madrid, Liverpool, Inter, Barcelona, Atletico, Manchester City, or Bayern Munich. I think out of all of them, I want to be facing Manchester City because I know they're really poor in the Premier League this season. 
If not, Liverpool, because I know we can beat them. We've done it a couple of times so far this series, so I think I'm hoping for one of the English teams. But either way, the round of 16 in the Champions League is going to be tough. If you have enjoyed though, guys, please leave a like on the video, comment with any feedback, subscribe to see more from us, and I'll catch you next time, just before the January transfer window. I'll see you in a bit. Bye!